Hey everyone, welcome back to Toasties with Flick. This is going to be an interesting one today. This one may even take a little bit longer than normal because we are going to do a meatball toasty. So first of all, I need to cook my meatballs. I also have uh, some gluten-free pasta. So I guess it's like a meatball pasta toasty. Uh, yeah. This would be really cool. I had this idea last week when I had the meatballs and biscotti. I'm like, I should have this in toasty. So, so why not? I also have sauce and bread and other stuff, but I'll get that out once we get this rolling. So to start this off, we need a saucepan. No, a pot, a pan, a pan, a saucepan, a saucepan, a pan, a saucepan and a pan. I honestly don't know my cooking utensils. Uh, I'm going to turn this one on. These take longer. Hmm, water to boil. Oh. Uh, I don't know which one to cook first. Don't even ask me how I did it last week because I don't remember. All I know is it turned out fine and it was really yummy. Let's do this one first. Put that there. Get the butter. Get the butter and chuck the butter in the pan. And then we'll put the water on. I think that's how it's going to go, I think. Uh, I don't use oil, as a lot of you would know. Boop! Mmm, tasty. Okie dokie. Then, water. Water? I'm going to leave. Oh, I need to turn that on. That is on to... Alright, let's get into these. So this is just uh, pork meatballs. Nothing fancy about them. They're from Audi. Uh, that's all I can really tell you about them. They come pre-wrapped. Stab it. Mix stabby stab stab. I think this is going to be cool. I think this is going to be a cool idea. Oh god, I hope this works. Ugh. Now, I'm not going to cook all of them because I can't eat all of them. So I'm only going to cook half and I'll put the other half in the freezer for another day. So, bear with me. I had a, I had a lot of fun the other week trying to get them out. But the best way I found to get it out was get a chopping board and like pop them out. I know that sounds so silly, but it was pretty much like the only way that it worked. Okay, so all I li <laughs> literally did, and like this, I loosened them, and I went, oh, it's not gonna work. And I went, oh, come on, pop. Oh, come on, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, they're popping. See? See? Okay. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So they're 20. So all I need to do is put 10 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go separate you guys. 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, or eight, nine. Oh, now they come out easy. Ten. Okay. So that's my ten in there where they do their thing and they cook. We can put these into the freezer. I need to, I need to wash my hands. This, this may be some fast, fast forward action. Okie dokie, they are in the freezer. This bit here will still take a while, obviously. Um, I'll just quickly show you the sauce I'm gonna put in it. 
it is pretty much your traditional pasta sauce stuff. Um, San Remo, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, so when I see the cooked, I'll just plonk that in there, mix it around, give it a simmer. Bob's your uncle. That's about it. For part one anyway. Let the fast forwards begin. I should go that way. Fast forwards begin. That would be better, wouldn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to give them a turn, turn them over, make sure they're getting cooked all the way through. Don't want to burn one side and leave like the middle uncooked. I'm here to slip a little bugger. Slip a little fucker. Oh, come on. Flip. Thank you. Alrighty. Fast forward again. Oh. Okie dokie. So they're still sizzling away. Still cooking their little butts off. Uh, I think they they might be ready before before the pasta is, but that's okay. Nothing to fear. Just keep going with how it is, and uh, it's always good to see what the end product's like, right? So I'm gonna turn these over. Drop a comment below. How how have everyone's week been? Have you guys tried any of the past toasties? I don't actually remember what my last one was. I forgot what my last one was. No, it was the hot dog one, wasn't it? Wasn't the last one the hot dog one? Oh, that was a good one. That one might be really hard to top. Did you guys try it? Oh, if if you haven't tried the last toasty, you need to go back, watch it, try it, and let me know what you think, because I think that was my favorite so far. Now I already have uh, the next one also pre-planned out. I'm going to try and let you guys guess what it may be. It is influenced by America. I think that's the only hint I'm going to give you because I don't know any other hints that are giving away. But it's influenced by America. It's something that they love a lot. And it's normally like on the cheap and easy side of life. So if you think you may know what next episode of Toasties with Flick is going to be, drop a comment below and let me know. Alright. a lot so I think I may even need more butter and then I probably have to turn the heat down so it's probably getting a little bit a little bit too hot in there and all the butter's burnt away <laughs> yes I, I eat the butter off my finger yum properly boiled but it's boiled enough for me to put my for my pasta in. I don't know how much pasta to use. I really suck at judging pasta. So I'm just gonna grab like yay much. It's probably too much actually. Let's let's grab yay much try again. And now this I heard this really triggers like Italians. I'll go this way ready Oh no. Okay, I just want to say it. I've never done it that messily. It, it cracked and went everywhere, and normally it never cracks anywhere. And then like crack and just goes straight in. But yeah, I heard that like Italians really like it triggers them when, when you break pasta. Uh, I'm not sorry. I think it's funny. Now, a little tip, which I don't know if it works or not, is putting salt in. Now, I cooked these the other day and it got like really clunky. Or cl cl clunky? It's not clunky. Oh, why am I? 
Cluggy, gluggy, gluggy, clumpy, clumpy. I got really clumpy. I got there in the end. But I heard if you put like a little bit of salt in, it like keeps it from getting clumpy. Let's get some salt. A little bit of salt. To do the trick. Okay, whoa. Look at Daisy. Let's turn you guys down even more. Now I think we can put this in. You just pour it over and let it simmer. And give them a little bit of So I've turned that down to four. I have a really odd stove when it comes to like the settings and stuff. And I'm just like literally like just turning them in and like to try and like cover them. I don't know what it's meant to look like, but this works for me, so yay. Um, yeah, we'll just let that chill. I don't really need this. I may put this away. Water is bubbling, fantastic. We could just prep our bread right now. So, my bread. Now, for something different, um, I actually have a different bread set. I normally use my, my generic frozen rice, white bread. This time I have multi-grain. I'm trying to eat less bread. I know, go figure. Does a toasty channel with bread and wants to eat less bread. It, it just doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. So we have multi-grain bread. We're just gonna do the exact same thing as we do with every other piece of bread. Butter the outside. Butter the outside. Now I have thought about this hard and long and I'm not gonna put any cheese with it. I did, I was contemplating if I should put cheese and I'm like, you know what? The answer is no. Mm -mm. Okay, cool. That goes there. You all can go there, get that out of the way. Get the, the toasty out. Oh, I don't think anyone commented if I should buy a new toasty maker or not. Plug this in and turn it on and now I get my, my stuffy stuff. Give you a wobble. Where'd my tongs go? Here. Alright, how are you guys going? Oh, that's so much better. Salty is the trick, man. Salty is the trick. That's amazing. Now what you can do, you can also drain your, your pasta and put your pasta in as well. Little testy test. Mm, no. It needs so much longer. It needs so much longer. Oh my god. My turn. Turn that down even lower. This is like my waiting G. Like, oh, oh, my waiting G. Just waiting for my pasta cooking jig. I think also with uh, my meatballs, I'm gonna cut them. I think I learned from the little boys, little Frankfurts, that they're too big to put in whole. So I think I'm gonna have to cut them in half. Yeah, quick cut them while they're in there actually. Uh, let's trigger some people by double using my instruments. Oh, yeah, okay. Pasta off. I don't know how you strain your pasta. I like to reuse the lid, right? So I just get the lid back on and pour the water out. Just gotta mix it all together now. Mix it, mixy, mixy. All right. Turn that off. This is ready. Okay, now for the fun parts. Butter down. Mm. 
All right, so half a meatball, half a meatball. Try to find my half a meatballs. Okay. Bad news, I have no idea where my toasty failed and when it stopped recording. But it's pretty much cooking right now. A uh, really quick recap, it's got pasta and meatballs on the inside, which we just really cooked together, but it didn't record. And now it's in here, and now it's ready. And you guys didn't see any of it, I don't think. I didn't get to choose, I didn't get to see yet. But, oh, such a drama queen. Anyways, let me get it out. Let me reach out the camera and uh, I guess we have to keep continuing or I would have tried to figure something else out. Ah. Hey guys, really bad news. My camera's full. This is it. The storage for the, I mean, the storage from the camera is full, so I can't even do my whole thing. Uh, this is the biscotti and whatever, and I'm just gonna, uh huh. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. I hope this works. Mm. Hope this saves. I don't have any of the wakes up for Instagram. It's tasty though. It's really tasty. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Maybe number three best. Mm, maybe number three.